and welcome back to The Watchman. Well, our team at Christians United for Israel is very proud of our partnership with TBN on The Watchman Show. I like to say that combining America's largest pro-Israel organization, KUFI, with the world's largest Christian television network, TBN, is a match made in heaven. So it's no surprise that my good friends, Matt and Laurie Crouch, who are great supporters of Israel, made me feel right at home recently on the set of Praise. We covered a wide range of issues, and I even had a chance to share some personal details about how in the world I got here. Take a look. Why is it that you do what you do? Let's start with you, and we're going to get to the Watchmen. We're going to get to Yom Kippur. Tonight is, is a, we're going to be talking about, but why yeah. do you do what you do? Yeah, I feel like, guys, that God put me on this earth to do exactly what I'm doing okay. right now. What is that? Well, sounding the alarm, being a watchman on the wall, as the show title says, the watchman. You know, I think of the book of Ezekiel. God says, if the watchman does not sound the alarm, he or she will be held accountable. I feel like I've got this knowledge, this wisdom about what's going on in the world and how it affects everyone sitting at home. So I need to share this. It's on my heart. It's a passion of mine, not only for Israel, but for America. Can we turn things around? Mm. We have all these threats gathering at our doorstep. You know, guys, 9-11 really was the game changer for me. Yeah. Uh, at the time, I just moved back from New York City, had been living there for several months working, moved back, trying to figure out my next move. 9-11 happened. And like a lot of people, it had a profound impact on my life. But just as a concerned American, the day after 9-11, I went out and bought everything I could get my hands on about Islam, about Al-Qaeda, about the Middle East. Now, interesting point here. I had a real background interest and knowledge from my father. I grew up amazing household, unlikely household, really, to do what I'm doing in a working class neighborhood in Northeast Philadelphia. But my father knew the Bible. Wow. Uh, he was a fascinating guy. He worked wow. in a factory with his hands. But he had such an intellectual curiosity. He was so well read and he was a prophecy buff. And he gave me Hal Lindsey's book, our old friend Hal yeah. Lindsey, we've talked about before, Matt. Love it. The Late Great Planet Earth. I was a 21 year old guy living in the world, and that book changed the direction of my life. But the wow. dinner table conversations with my dad, very uncharacteristic, I guess, in the area we grew up, talking about Israel, King David, the Entebbe raid, the Netanyahu family, talking about Stalingrad, World War II. Amazing, and I soaked it all up. So God gave me that earthly father for a reason and set me on the path I'm on today. Wow, wow, wow. wow. That's amazing. And now The Watchman is a result of Christians United for Israel and TBN partnering together to put you in the field, yeah. you in front of cameras, to sound that alarm. That's yeah. what you do. And Matt, it's so amazing when we agreed to bring the Watchmen exclusively, only right here on TBN, folks, you'll see the show. We call it a match made in heaven because you have TBN, the largest, most influential Christian television network in the world, and KUFI, Christians United for Israel, founded by our good friend, Pastor John Hagee, is the largest pro-Israel organization in America. 3.2 wow. million members and growing every day. Guys, this is a move of God for such a time as this. You know, as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus, I want to be where God is. Where is God moving today? Where does he have his hand? And today he has his hand on the land of Israel. That's where it's all going down. And it's exciting to be there with a bird's eye view using TBN's amazing yeah. <laughs> Jerusalem studio, majestic view, folks. Uh, and to have that front row seat, I am blessed. And I say God has a sense of humor to pluck a guy like me out of nowhere, out of Northeast Philadelphia, and put me in Jerusalem. I still can't get over it. I pinch myself every day. God's hand is in this in a mighty way. And having that front row seat, working on the Watchmen for TBN, for Kufi, in Jerusalem where Jesus will lay his foot once again, mm. it's an amazing thing. Give it up for Stax. Come on now. <laughs> I love it. Thanks again to Matt and Laurie for all they do to make this show possible. Well, coming up after the break, my final thoughts on a revival in America. Could it happen? And is Israel the key? It's the Watchmen, it's Christians United for Israel, only right here on TBN.